you can actually go in and change all these gauges and hit and put everything you want. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Trey B. Devin in the building. You know what time it is. So, uh, we on a new camera setup, by the way. But um, today, I just want to do a quick little video. Um, I should have done videos on all this stuff individually, honestly. But basically, this is going to be a quick update on what I've been up to that I didn't get on camera. So stay tuned. Oh, yeah. One more thing. So, as some of you know, uh, your boy has his own merch store. You know what I'm saying? I got Prelude shirts galore. I got about five designs right now. Well, one design, three variants. I got this design in holographic. I got uh, one with just the word Prelude in the fourth gen front. I got some for the fifth geners too. At the fifth gen, I got a Prelude in the fifth gen font and they're all in holographic over black and over white. So if you support your boy, you know what I'm saying? Scroll down to that description and visit my t-shirt store. You know what I'm saying? Remember this too. Every time you guys buy a shirt and support me, it benefits the channel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want more stuff, more crazy stuff done to the prelude? Cop a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. On to the updates. So what we got is the prelude. I did a few things that I didn't get on camera. And so I just wanted to do like a quick little update video, but more or less, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing that I didn't catch on camera. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me uh, show y'all what we got going on. First things first. Let me close this door because this dude is <laughs> cutting grass and there ain't no tomorrow. All right, so first things first. You notice that the steering wheel is different. That boy got that wood grain gripping. Hey, you hear me? So, shout out to my boy Troy. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, Instagram right here. Shout out to Troy's Wheels. Um, he sells just about anything JDM, and it's all imported, real stuff, man. That's the benefit. Um, this is actually an original 96 Momo Fighter steering wheel that he had imported. Um, and so I copped this from him. Support your friends, man. Um, that's one of the upgrades that I made that I didn't put on camera. Um, I do want to get a quick release for that. I might do a video on that. Um, other than that, you guys already know about the S2K uh, cluster. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I did, however, at one point a couple days ago, I did put in a new, um, I did put in a new fuel cluster gauge, but it already went out on me. So. It comes on for like a quick second, you can kind of see, and then it fades back out. It does work again. I, I'm not sure what's going on over there. I got two extra ones, so we'll see what's going on. But I did put that back in there. My clock's working again. So eventually when everything opens back up, hopefully I'll be able to get this sent out. Um, and there's a company that basically, uh, I can change the color of the S2K cluster and basically give it that green color so when i'm done with it it'll look like it's actually supposed to be in here then once i do that i'm gonna tighten up the holes and find a way to you know basically make it look oem um that's what's another thing oh your boy got the dash cam boy aka the mirror so this is a mirror but it also doubles as a dash cam so see i don't know if you can see that the camera is actually right there which is dope man so you know you never know i don't have no horn so just to be able to have everything documented especially you know what i'm saying especially when you go to mexico you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah man uh so i got that this is really dope man it comes with uh it does come with the reverse camera too there's so many options with this thing, man. It's, it's super dope. I mean, plus it's it's like a, a security thing too. Um, it actually has an internal battery, so it charges while you're driving. And let's say, I don't know, I'm at a car meet or whatever, and I'm not at my car, and this thing picks up motion. So if it picks up motion, it'll actually start recording. And it has like 
clips it saves us in the camera you can go back and look at it look you can go back and look at it and it has like an SD card I can pull the SD card out put it in the computer all kinds of crazy stuff man so this is dope I really like this this is definitely a nice little addition to the whip so I like that so here's the main one of the main upgrades is this bad boy right here what you looking at is a 10 inch app radio it's a 10 inch app radio bro you don't understand how big this thing look at my art right, this is my phone this is my phone look at the difference bro that's crazy it's a 10 inch tablet radio that's crazy this thing is nice man i'm not gonna lie shout out to my boy g man limb uh those of you who are really in the prelude scene know about uh know about g man he has a sick white fourth gen that he's done a bunch of work to more than me i'll, I'll throw a link to his instagram uh right here and also um he actually i'm not the reason why i didn't do an install video on this is because he already has one so if you guys are interested in in picking up a radio like this i'm gonna put a link uh, in the description to get uh one of these radios but i'm also going to put a link um to j uh, g man's channel or specifically the video for this where he installed it if you want to learn how to install it shout out to g man though um it wasn't for him i wouldn't have found out about this but um you guys already know um that i i have a honda at s300 powering my my prelude uh for the brain power and um i have the v3 which means i have the bluetooth capability so if you guys i get this question a lot like how do you get those gauges on there and this then the third so you need two things the main thing is you need the honda the s300 v3 if you don't have the honda the s300 v3 you're not gonna be able to do this so that's the first step if you have the v3 then what you can do is you can actually um get not just this radio any app radio where the radio allows you to download apps um once it's connected to the internet um i usually do it through um like a hotspot on my phone or if i'm close enough to the house i'll log into the wi-fi at the house um once you get the app radio doesn't matter which one you get as long as it's an app radio you can see i actually have an option for the play store right here so you click on the play store once the play store comes up you have two options if you do uh Honda, it's free once you go in the play store you can actually download um Honda mobile this one is free now i've already actually installed it so i already have it installed but initially you just hit uh install and then once it finished uh installing you just open it and um this is the Honda screen you click the lightning bolt and then you literally click your Honda once it syncs up all right so it's connected once that lightning bolt is yellow is connected and then you just hit this green screen right here and it takes you to your gauges um so you uh, uh, most of you who follow me know that I don't run the actual Honda app anymore and I'm gonna show you why it's a good app for it being free it gives you everything you need to know but you can't actually um you can't actually edit these gauges for some reason if you don't have the mobile version it actually has to be this is in landscape mode right now it actually has to be in portrait mode and then there's actually uh three dots at the top in the in the top uh right corner that lets you edit the gauges but when you have a tablet or a radio um it doesn't let you put it in portrait mode so there's no way to edit this so if you're okay with having the rpm speed and map and then it has like the engine control temperature is the one that i always keep an eye on um map sensor pressure and like intake air temperature is all right there but if you wanted anything else you can't change it which leads me to my next uh point is i actually found another app that works better for me I can't say that it'll work better for you, but it definitely works better for me. Um, and I actually found an app called S Dash. Now, S Dash also uses the Honda S300, but um, 
there's a trade-off uh this one is not free now Honda's or s dash i'm sorry is actually 10 bucks it's 9.99 um i'll tell you right now definitely 100 percent worth the purchase especially if you if you're getting this to actually read your gauges and not just for show the s dash is a superior app 100 percent um you can actually go in and change all these gauges and hit and put everything you want um, you can edit the color and everything so like there's different setups um like i only have one setup on mine this is how i ran it before so this is how i'm running it now i got my rpms my speed uh boost i got it i have a boost gauge here but i have one here as well i have a vtech light so once i cross vtech this lights up i have my tps uh percentage that's basically my throttle position sensor so like if i press my pedal right now it's reading zero if i press it you can see it goes up 103 percent full throttle um i have my engine control temperature my intake air temperature my battery voltage i like to have the battery voltage because if something's going wrong with my alternator i'll see it here and then of course i have uh my air fuel ratio gauge which i also have here but it's good to have this man it's just you know what i mean keep an eye on everything and of course if anything goes wrong if i get a check engine light um it won't it will only let you click on it if if the light is actually lit um works perfect man so i run this at this uh s dash i really like it um i do have my oil pressure gauge right there but um like i said the oil pressure gauge is the only one that this system can't read from what i've seen everything else you can pretty much run through this app so i love it now out of all the ones that i didn't record the one that i regret the most is this one right here i don't know if you guys already peeped it but your boy got the push to start now the s2k push to start i'm not gonna lie I, that one i wish i would have uh i wish i would have um recorded that one because it was pretty simple to do but i just it was one of those things where i just wanted to get it done but i wish i would have recorded that i wouldn't mind running it back like i'll i'll take everything out and show you guys what i did if you guys really want to um but the harness itself was all plug and play and literally all i had to do was plug it in and i had to take out the uh cigarette lighter and trim the hole for this uh button to fit but it works just like the s2k man it's dope like you put the key in literally and you put the key in if you try to turn the key it doesn't work so you literally put the key in and you literally push the start push the start that is crazy to me bro like i i don't know man like i was so excited to get these parts in i did almost all of these back to back and like i said i, I really do regret not recording but the camera I'm recording on now is my new action cam. Uh, let me see if you can see it. My new action cam. And if I would have had this camera, it, I got the kit to put on like the little head strap piece. Um, I would have just worn it while I did everything, but I didn't have it yet. So here's what it is. Um, it goes to look at this, the uh, S dash running. Running, running, working. Hey, so there you have it, man. Those are uh, all the upgrades that I've made over the past um, couple weeks that I unfortunately didn't get a chance to record the process of. But hopefully, um, the update video served its purpose you guys know what's going on now you're you're updated i think you guys are more um probably more or less waiting on the videos i know what the videos y'all really want to see so they're coming 
I got some stuff lined up. We're going to Mexico. So stay tuned for that. And then also I'm actually on my new action camera right now. And I got the uh, little headpiece. So look forward to some POV driving, all of that. But with that being said, smash that like button, uh, share it. And if you're new, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.